Hello everyone, it's your boy Tigger the Beagle back again with another video, a card game video, I know. It's been a little while since I've done a dedicated deck tech or anything like that, but as I have been getting into Magic the Gathering a lot more recently, you can see in my streams, go ahead and check that out, I decided since Lost Caverns of Ixalan just came out, I might as well make a deck tech. It's not using, like, any Lost Caverns of Ixalan cards, but it, it, it's, it's something, alright? Listen, I'm not trying to waste all my money buying all these fucking packs, alright? I've got, like, 20 new cards at most from the new set. Give me a fucking break. This shit's expensive. I also wish to mention that this deck is kind of made of bits and bobs and scraps. It definitely can be made better. I mean, when you look at it, you'll see what can be made better, and you'll swap it out for better cards, of course. However, this is kind of to get you started. If you just want a simple deck that can get you into Historic Brawl slash Commander whenever they put out Commander in this game... This is a deck that I think is exceedingly underrated, which is Solfim Mayhem Dominus. This card was mainly passed up in the actual commander format due to the fact that it was a little... kind of terrible. Dealing double damage wasn't really enough in a format where people have 40 fucking life, so they can afford to just wait and take your commander out before you can actually do meaningful burn. Mm. However, in Historic Brawl, you have almost half that at 25 life, making this take out your opponents really fucking quickly. Starting off, we have the commander, of course, which is Sulfur Mayhem Dominus. If a source you control would deal non-combat damage to an opponent, or permanent that opponent controls, it deals double that damage. In Historic Brawl, that means any card that deals 2 does 4, any card that deals 1 does 2. Deals 3, it does 6 now. Deals 4, it does 8 now. And this gets really big really fast. We're playing a strategy full of instants and sorceries, as well as cards that are like, if you cast an instance or sorcery, deal 2 damage to the opponent, which becomes 4, by the way. Um, you can look at the cards here now. I'll go through them slowly really quick as I explain the deck. But the deck mainly is just about killing your opponent as fast as possible and slow the section down if you need to it's a little fast uh we have a ton of low cost cards that deal a ton of damage or x cost cards which allow us to finish off our opponent really quickly now there's also cards that benefit off of instant and sorcery such as when you cast an instant or sorcery or when you cast a non-creature spell deal a damage to the opponent or like tap this deal one damage and when you cast an instant or sorcery it deals one damage again uh, this is similar to another card in the set, which uh, I believe whenever a card would deal non-combat damage and it's less than this card's power, it deals like up to this card's power. But I find that a bit annoying sometimes, as if you want to deal more than four, well, you've got to start putting in plus one, plus one counter strategies. And those aren't... The it, fuck. And those aren't always the best. Thank you, Tegan. Uh, when playing an instance and sorcery deck in pure red. Uh, I mean, it's still a good deck, and it's actually probably better than this one, but still. Uh, we're also playing a couple high-cost cards, such as stuff like Chandra, or Virtue of Courage, just to make it so that we burn a lot faster. With Chandra even allowing you to finish off your opponent, like, as soon as you cast it, if they're at 10 life. Which is... Holy shit. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we're also on 42 Mountains and a Plaza of Heroes for Protection. I should mention the other part of Sulfur Mayhem Dominus, which is pay 1 and 2 red. Or that red can be substituted for 2 life, because it's Phyrexian mana. Discard 2 cards, put an indestructible counter on. This you will be doing, mainly because you need this to stay alive. I mean, you've got Swift Foot Boots to protect it, but if you don't draw that, this is your most reliable way to get it off. Discarding two cards, however, is a little costly, which is why we're playing a couple draw spells, as you saw, if you did slow down the deck tech to look through all the cards. But now, let's get into the game, shall we? And go over this deck's uh, strengths and weaknesses and all that. First game, we're playing against Admiral Beckett Brass, so some sort of pirate deck, and it's going to be stealing our shit. Thankfully, we're only really playing one permanent uh, this hand is not really what you want. What you want is burn spells, draw spells, as well as uh, three lands and a ramp to get you to where you want. Uh, three lands and a ramp is mainly what you want because you want to get to Mondrak as soon as possible. Because otherwise your burn spells are a bit subpar, I'll admit. Uh, so you play, we play a mountain here. We'll definitely not be playing our Draganic, Draganic, Draganic debut just yet. Uh, ooh, uh, Spectral Sailor. That is a pirate. 
There's a spirit pirate. Didn't know they came in different flavors. The Iron Crag, they're gonna attack us. We'll play this, an Arcane Signet. And this allows us to get it out on turn three, which is actually really important for this deck. We're gonna put this here, because we wanna cast this for all out. Flames of Firebolt as well, we'll put over here to cast for later, because we want more shit in our grave. A Three Bowls of Porridge does two to target creature, which turns into four with a Mondrake. And he played about market connections. That's a bit annoying. We'll play him out and we'll play Solfim now. We need one mana open to even give him indestructible, so I do hope he can survive, because I actually do want to discard my Three Bowls of Porridge. And also... Uh... Honestly, I'm torn here. I think we're gonna get rid of breaking the fellowship and do Mondrock. Yeah, we'll do that. We will do this. We'll pay. We'll pay two red for this, and we'll discard our breaking the fellowship and our three bowls of porridge. Right? No, we'll discard that. Okay. Now with this. I'm gonna think here. This deal this can only deal two damage, which is not enough. Uh, we're gonna do a braid to get rid of Admiral uh Beckrit Brass. I think that's good. He's gonna counter it with a counter spell. Slightly fucking annoying, but we have no choice but to let that go. Um I'm not making him indestructible twice. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack with Sulfim and see if they're dumb enough to fall for it. No? Okay. We'll deal 5 damage, though. I'm happy with that. They'll deal more to us, but we can pretty easily clean up their board next turn because I doubt they have more counter spells in their hand. They're going to black market connections, which no matter what is going to speed it up. He's just going to create a treasure token. That's fair. Um, We'll say black market connections. I question its inclusion in a lot of historic brawl decks. It's a good card. But in a format where you have way less life than Commander, it feels almost irresponsible to uh, drain your life like this. He's going to go Hostage Taker. He's going to take my Arcane Siggy. Interesting. He's not even going to cast it. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, Frantic Firebolt will deal 8. Or not. Wait, is that per... He does not get control of this. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, I could just kill this by dealing. That only deals three. Until, until end of turn. I don't know why I have this card in my deck. Uh, yeah, we're just going to kill Hostage Taker here. I feel like that's the strongest. It is, he has one mana open. There's no way he can do anything that good. Wait, that's permanent? Oh, I didn't read. Sorry, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! mostly. I don't read this shit. Uh, yeah, wow. Good game. Yeah, I think we do lose this. We're gonna go ahead and concede this. This go this win this win. Tegan, come on. Okay, this win does go to the pirates. Let's move on to the next game, shall we? All right. Hopefully, we can make a better showing on this part. I would like to show off how strong this deck can be, because in playtesting, this has kicked a lot of ass. Uh, we're playing Zagras Thief of Heartbeats, red and black. Uh, this is. A hand we keep, I believe. Yeah, professional face breaker bring here as well is good. Let's see, four. I actually don't know, but this spell costs one less for each creature in your party. We'll play Plaza of Heroes now. Other creatures control a death touch. Would a creature control deals common damage to a player or destroy it? A crypt creature deals damage to a player. You may draw a card. Interesting. Uh, we're going to Cold Steel Heart. I don't want to do Yotia yet. We'll play this, play Solfim, and then hopefully he'll survive. Give it a hand. Yeah, we'll play Solfim. Drawing a good amount of lands, I'm not too mad about that. If it gets too many, I can always discard them. But I'd rather not because that'll allow me to Chandra. And Chandra is pretty damn good. So he's gonna equip that to that. I'm gonna do that. Can't Chandra yet. We will professional face breaker here. And then Yodia declares war. Uh, we will just have it come in, create us an Ornithopter, and then we'll try and hit in with Sulfum. One red mana is not enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we will create a treasure token because of that, and I will not torch the tower quite yet. We'll do this. 
Yeah, I think we do this, then we Chandra. Especially if we could draw an instant or sorcery, we pretty much win this. Uh, oh, this kills uh, Zagreus. We'll just pass. Yeah, we, uh, we're winning this. Easy, easy. Easy game, easy game. My turn. Uh, we will go ahead, tap any untapped artifacts. I c we'll just submit this. We'll deal two. So we'll kill that. Play this, play Chandra. With this, we will have a bunch of mana up. Red, red. We'll torch the tower. I can bargain it. It was three damage. We'll just have a deal too. We don't need a bargain here. I mean, we can't. We're just gonna do that again. Doesn't do anything else. Um. We didn't have enough for shaken faith. Not okay. So this will make it so that him doing anything is a little harder now. Hmm. So now we have another treasure, which will allow us the professional face breaker as well. We don't need the treasures for them being treasures. Uh, we do win next turn though because we can minus uh, seven and then deal fourteen to the opponent. Yeah, we just we just win. We win here no matter what, unless he can kill Chandra somehow. Uh, yeah, no. This is our win. Pretty fast win, too. We'll go ahead. Uh, sure, we'll just tap that. We'll go ahead and play a mountain anyway. And then we'll minus X. Seven. That one. That one. Oh. Yeah. We deal 14. Clean it all up. And that's a victory for us. On to the next game, shall we? All right, our next game is versus Plant Plant Lazla Sun Flavored. Mmm, I love when things are sun flavored. Uh, this hand is terrible for us. Absolutely terrible. Only two lands, no ramp, no nothing. Ah, uh, I mean, it's not bad. Also, quick tip for this deck: even if you can play your burn, do not play it until you have the opportunity to put Solfim on first. Because otherwise your burn's pretty underwhelming, I'll admit. So it's not preferable. This is a Zendikar plane, right? Yeah. Okay. I fucking hate this. I hate that White has this. Uh, we're gonna play that. We are then going to... Probably... Thrill of Possibility. Discarding breaking the fellowship. Jiratsu. I want Witch's Mark at least quite for a while. This is good. This deals 10. He's going to play Ornithopter of Paradise. We're going to play this. I forgot to play my two mana ramp. That was me being dumb. I will play Cold Steel Hard off that, I suppose. We'll go red. What will we discard, though? I guess Shock. And, uh, which is Mark, right? I don't really see a point in keeping this two when we have this in our hand. It's a high ramp hand, but it's a good hand. Uh, Epic Tor is good, but I'd rather Sulfa. Activate him. Pay this. I think we actually will get rid of Epic Tor and which is Mark. Now we have all we need. Sh we could just cash Chandra. I just realized that. Wow. Yeah, this hand was fucking bananas. Alright. He is gonna flat Solana. But we will just be able to almost kill it? If we draw a land for turn, we definitely can kill it because we can shock as well. Nest Robber! What a card! He'll deal one. Oh, yeah. Piece of fucking cake. Oh no, that was just enough to cast it. I'm stupid. Uh, we will add two red. I think we'll do this. We'll just deal four direct to him. And deal four direct to him again. 
we could... We'll attack with Sulfum. Actually, no. We'll keep him as a blocker. Because he's indestructible. It doesn't matter. Uh, plant Laza can have whatever he wants on him. I'm just killing this guy directly. Uh, we do win next... Oh, not next turn. He's gonna do that. <sighs> Tribute to the World Tree. We'll shock him, which will allow Shandra to copy that so I can deal 8 to his face. And then... I think we just win, right? Because we can Lava Axe and then shock. Yeah. We literally win. He didn't even attack! Oh, you fucking moron. We will go ahead, play red, red. Shock to the face. Which will allow me to copy it, shock at him again. And then we win, because we can do this. It deals 10. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Easy win. Easy dubs versus the dinosaur player. And we're back with the deck. And I want to talk about its strengths and weaknesses real quick before I send you off with the final notes. A strength one. This deck is exceedingly quick. Even though it deals with shit like Chandra, which is an exceedingly high mana card, it's the fact that everything else in this deck is so cheap that it can capitalize off it really quickly. Two! God damn, I know there are a lot of cheap spells that say any target. I mean, fucking, like, Torch the Tower is a bad example, but stuff like Dragonic Debut allowing us to commit any to X, if somehow our opponent is still at 25 life when we cast this, all we have to do is declare X is 10, and they lose. Wait. They don't lose. You know what I'm talking about. It allows us to kill them really quickly. I mean, some cards, I will admit, probably could be taken out. Like, Urabrask, really not there. There are some cards that I didn't get to show off, like Invasion of Karsis, which allows us to just dome our opponent for so much damage, it's fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. Plus, it's a mini creature board wipe, which is good against a lot of faster decks like ourselves. Two, against slow decks, this kills them good. If you can draw into your early burn that can target your opponent, which you can most of the time, they're fucked. Downsides, if you're not able to get that indestructible counter on Dominus before they kill him, most of your deck sucks. Or they steal him like in the pirate one. I didn't even think that was a thing, and then I remembered pirates do that. Um, but yeah, a lot of your burn is pretty shit if you don't have this guy on board. So it's kind of a, if you see this, kill it type of commander. It's also extremely dependent on our opening hand. Yes, we have a couple draw spells, however, if you don't get a hand that allows you to capitalize immediately, well, then you're pretty fucked. I understand that's for most decks, but for this deck it goes tenfold. And also, I'll just be frank, the Caverns of Ixalod version of this card is better. This guy's not to be fucked with. As much as I give it shit for not being better in some circumstances, the fact that not only can it come back, but also turns all your 1 damage into 4 damage, and greater upon greater upon that... He's kind of fucking crazy, I'm gonna be honest. That's gonna be all, folks. I'll see y'all later. Make sure to subscribe if you like this content or any other content on my channel. I kind of just do random shit and hope it all sticks, and somehow that constitutes a thousand subscribers. I love you guys. The Pickle Mukbang is coming soon. If you don't know what that means, you don't watch my channel enough. <laughs> Good luck, goodbye, have fun, and enjoy your life here on YouTube. I don't get what I want, I get what I need Every single day I'm heading off to my dream And I get everything that I damn well please I don't give a damn if you all listening to me Cause I run it, I'm the only one that really want it I'm the only one that's really on it I'm just being honest, I'm just doing everything I promise Cause I want it bad enough that I'ma make it as an artist